Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm delighted that you've taken the time to view this brief video. When I heard that we would not be able to gather to worship, I knew immediately that I wanted to reach out in some way to all the parishioners and friends of St. Barnabas. Christmas is such a special time between a priest and his congregation. The ordinary ways of connecting, worshiping and fellowshipping together and pastoral visits are unavailable to us. With just a few days to plan and execute another option, I came up with what I am calling the 12 days of Christmas, St. Barnabas COVID style. We'll engage some of the technology we've purchased since the start of the pandemic, some new skills I've developed, and combine them with well-worn practices of attending to and reflecting upon scripture, joining it together in prayer, and music. Please join in at your convenience and watch the videos at your own pace. You can press the pause button anytime if you need to attend to other things or want to take more time reflecting upon what you just saw and heard. Please don't spend too much time and energy looking at production quality. I'm a novice and cannot control all the extraneous activities in my surroundings, especially my dog Vicky. I hope you enjoy the videos as much as I have in preparing them for you. Almighty God, you wonderfully created and yet more wonderfully restored our human nature. May we share the divine life of your Son, Jesus Christ, who humbled himself to share our humanity and now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. A reading from the second chapter of the Gospel according to St. Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David, called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. 
When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. The word of the Lord. When I hear St. Luke's account of the birth of Jesus, I'm immediately struck by all the details the writer includes. Every detail matters. As we take time to ponder, we may find ourselves trying to figure out all the details and consider how they link up with other parts of Scripture. We might wonder why Luke included these specific details. These are important questions and can certainly keep our minds engaged and active. But Luke tells us something about what Mary did with all these details. She treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. Mary had come to the end of a long and stressful journey, given birth in a strange place among strangers, and then had an unexpected visit by shepherds who themselves had been visited by an angel. Mary was in no condition to figure all this out. So she treasured it and pondered. As I've grown older and hopefully wiser, and as the COVID lockdown has slowed me down, I've come to value more and more the gift of pondering. Recently, my daughter Allison caught me in the parking lot of Harvest Barn on her way home from work. I was standing next to my car, watching an amazing sunset. I was coming to the end of a busy day, and every detail of that sunset pulled me in. I invite you to treat this passage from the second chapter of Luke like I treated that sunset. Take it in as a treasure and ponder. Such mean estate where ox and ass. 
Christ our freedom. Come have no fear, God's Son is here. His love, all love's exceeding. Nail, spear shall pierce him through. The cross be born for me and you. Joy, joy, for Christ is born, the baby, the son. Every detail matters. It did so in Luke's account of the birth of Jesus, and it does so in our lives and in the lives of every person. Every detail matters in God's sight. While all these details might overwhelm us, God is never overwhelmed. That Jesus came into the world with all its details, good and bad, reassures us that God knows what we are going through. And so we pray with confidence about the details of our lives. We pray for the following members of our parish and their loved ones. Lucy Idu, Mary Lou and John Bacher, Claude and Derek Bancroft, Marilyn Bansfield, and Barbara Barber. In the Queenston Street neighborhood, we pray for Quest Community Health Care. Quest supports individuals experiencing social, economic, and cultural barriers by providing primary health care services and promoting wellness, community, and social justice. If you wish to take a moment to consider the details of your life and that of others in quiet prayer, I invite you to hit the pause button now. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us join together in the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of God, which passes all of our understanding, Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you this day and evermore.